Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are evening, you? Teacher. Hello, hello. Hi. I fit. Thick? Yeah. Oh my God. What do you have? Um, I have a gripe. The flu? Yeah. Oh my God. That that has been a diff this has been a difficult month for you. My God. You have been sick a lot. Because my ha my husband is I I mm, um, he is I was flu. Uh, he has the flu. And he yeah. okay, he passed it on to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Be careful with the baby. Be careful with the baby not to get the flu. Because they are very, very uh, sensitive to those things. Well, welcome, my dear students. How are you today? How was your day? What did you do? I was waiting and waiting and waiting for your stories and I didn't receive them. It was very entertaining. <laughs> okay. So yeah. let me see. Let me just open my attendance and then we can work. Well, so yesterday we were working a lot on the different forms of past right? We were working on the different forms of past, the different uh, stories that you can write, the differences between simple past and past continuous. And today we are going to include another friend that it's also in the past, that it's going to help you to also uh, complete your stories when you share them, right? That is past perfect, right? In the case of the past perfect, Let's see. Okay. Hey, everybody's very busy today. They are writing on the chat. I cannot work, teacher. I cannot do it. Sorry, sorry. Well, so yesterday we were working on a past continuous and simple past. Today we are going to work on past continuous, simple past, and also about past perfect, right? Past perfect is a topic that you have studied before, right? It is not like a new topic for you, but it is going to help us also uh, speak a little bit about an event that occurred before another event in the past, right? Both of them are completely finished actions, but one was one, uh, sorry, one was before the other one. So that is the difference between the past perfect and the past tense. And another thing that makes it different is that in the past perfect, you use the word have, right? I had put, I had stolen, I had worked, I had forgotten. For example, I had stopped. And how do you use the, press, the past perfect in Spanish people? Do you have an idea on how do you use it in Spanish? Any idea on this sentence? For example, this one. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. What would be uh, the meaning uh, of had put? Fui a trabajar afuera y dejé mis cosas en, en el casillero. Close, close, close. I was working out. What is the meaning of working out? It is not working outside. Working out is when you are at the gym and you are like, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, like me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like you, exactly like that. Ting, 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 right? Gladys, uh, we're very happy that you are going to the gym <laughs> and that you are very <laughs> persistent. So you say, I was working out, ooh, 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 right? And I had put my stuff in my locker. What dejé would mis be... cosas en el casillero. Ah, dejé? It's like I left my stuff. I had put, I puse mis put cosas them. en el casillero. Mm, 
close, close, close. Había puesto. Había puesto o había dejado. Yeah. In this case, el had is el había. Yo había hecho, yo había dejado, yo había visto, right? And it says, like, I was working out. That is past, right? Estaba ejercitándome. I was working out because this is past continuous, right? Aquí tenemos el past continuous. I was working out. Eso estaba sucediendo. Yo me estaba ejercitando. And I had put my stuff in my locker. Y había puesto mis cosas en el locker. When I came back, this is simple present, right? Here you have the three forms, as you can see here. And this is important. For the ones that are watching this video and are not in class, this is important. Here we have past continuous. How do we know that it's past continuous? Because you have two different verbs. This is the auxiliary and this is the main verb in the past, right? I was working out. This is past continuous. And I had put my stuff in the locker. This is past perfect. When I came back, this is simple past because it's like you have the verb in the irregular form, right? I came back. Someone had stolen, right? This is another past perfect. What is the meaning of had stolen? Eh, había robado. Ajá. Alguien Habían se robado. había robado. What? Mi cartera. Oh, wallet. Mi cartera. My wallet, right? You have your Chivo wallet, right? So Chivo <laughs> wallet, that's a, the wallet is billetera, right? My wallet. They were able to steal it. This is simple past, right? They were able to steal it because I had forgotten. Ah, I had forgotten. Yo había olvidado. Olvidado. olvidado right? cerrar, había olvidado lo... cerrar el locker. O eh, enllavarlo. Ah. To lock the locker. I had forgotten to lock the locker. So there you have the three forms. And they are very useful for you to explain the events that were happening, right? I was working out and you were very happy because you put all your things on the locker, right? I had put my stuff in my locker and you were very happy that like dancing. When I came back, you were like, oh my God, someone had stolen my wallet because uh, they were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. Sorry for that. And here I have the complete story, right? Here I have the complete story. Let's read it here. And it says, guess what? Here is poor Juancito with all the things outside the locker. You can check it out here. He is very angry and all his stuff are on the floor. And what is something that you can see right here? you can see that he didn't put the lock in the locker, right? The lock is right here. So it says, guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. What a pain is like, ah, que maleta, right? Like, que mal, que de veras, que. It's not like, que dolor, but it's like, que yuca, right? We use that in Spanish, right? Que regada. Que regada, they say. What a pain. What a pain. Or when you say, what a pity, that's another form. When you say, what a pity, it's like, que pena, que pena, no de pena de, ah, but pena de, híjole, right? What a pity, right? So that's a problem. Josue, you are Brian, and Lily, you, go, you are going to be Katie. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Guess that someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, no, what happened? Well, I was I was working work, <laughs> I was working out, and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do when I come when I came 
and came back. Someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to log uh, the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about uh, fifteen dollars, but I lost my credit card and my driver's li uh, license. What a pain! What a pain, right? Guess what? You say guess what? Imagine that you are telling someone this story, right? When when you use that one, you are that's an um, an attention grabber. You say guess what? And then the other person is going to be like, ah, what happened, right? When you say, guess what? What do you use in Spanish? Vas a creer. Adivina que me pasó. No, de, no te he contado. Guess what? That's the form. And that's when you catch the person's attention because the other person is going to be like, ah, bling. Gossip. <laughs> Gossip, gossip, right? Chisme, chisme, like the meme. So, so like, hey, guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. And then, for sure, you are going to say, hey, oh no, what happened? Right? You have to feel the story. It's like, oh no, what happened? Ah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, if you don't want to listen to the story anymore, Imagine if you answer like that in Spanish. Imagínense que yo le llevo contando. ¡Eh! Van a creer, tal y tal cosa me pasó. Ah. Mm. ¿Y, qué, ¿Y qué te pasó? No, nada, ya no. Ya no te cuento. <laughs> and then you don't say anything because the other person is not interested. So you have to feel the story. Rosa, you want to practice with me? Or do you have a question? Uh... I have a question. Okay. Okay. Tell me the question first. Uh, what is this? Is to my it's stuff. Okay. I had put my stuff. What is your mm -hmm. stuff? All the things that you have. Imagine that you have all these things on your hands, right? I will give an example. All my stuff is here. And I have the scissors and I have this box and I have the mouse and I had all my stuff in my hands. The stuff are things, objects. These are my stuff. So, those are stuff. Another one? Any other question? Nothing. Only that. Okay, so I am going to ask, let me see, Carlos Alfredo, help me with the story. You are going to be Brian and Rosa is... Katie. In my case, Brian, teacher. Yes, yes, you are Brian. <clears throat> okay. Uh, guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Mm. Does. Oh, no. Uh. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out. I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I, I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. Does that remember did you lose much money? Only about 15. Fifteen dollars, but I lost my credit card and my drive driver's license. What a pain! What a pain, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Walter Rene and Griselda. Go ahead. Okay. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no! What happened? Very good. Well. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do when I came back. Uh, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I forgot to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15, dollars, 
but I lost my credit card and my driver license. What's a pain? What a pain, you say. What a, what a pain. pain. Okay, practice with me, but try to imitate the intonation, okay? Microphones open, please, everybody. Open your microphone, and I need you to try to imitate the feelings and the pronunciation. Okay, try to exaggerate. Para todos los de la casa que nos están escuchando, esta es una actuación en inglés, okay? No crea que le pasa nada a su familiar. Okay, guess what? Guess, guess, guess what? what? Guess what? No, que lo sienta. Guess what? Someone stole my wallet last guess night. What? Someone stole, someone stole my wallet last night. No, más enojado, más enojado. Someone stole my wallet last night. Someone stole, someone stole, stole my wallet, wallet last, last night. night. Okay, siéntalo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What oh, happened? No. What's, What's happening? happening? What, What happened? happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. Well... Well, 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 I was working out. I was, I was working, working out, out. And, and I had put out. my stuff in my locker. And I had my stuff in my locker. Just like I always do. Just like, just like, like I, always I always do. do. I always do. Okay, well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I was When I came back, when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. I guess I had I guess I guess I guess I guess That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Did you lose much money? Did you lose much money? Only about $15. <laughs> Only about $15. <laughs> But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. What a pain, you say. What a pain. What a pain. What a pain. Okay, now you are going to be very sad. You are going to be sad because of what happened. Estamos enojados ahorita. Pero ahorita nos vamos a poner tristes. You're going to be sad because of what happened. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Someone, someone is stole my someone. wallet last night. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. What no. happened? What, what, what happened? happened? Well, what happened? Well, well, I was well, working well. out and I had put my stuff in the locker just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. I was working out. Um, that's terrible. Did you lose much money? That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Did you lose much money? Fifteen dollars. Only But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pity. What a pity. <laughs> Do you see that you communicate with the tone of voice? It is very different when you are very angry. Okay? And that's the, that's the beauty of English. Esa es la belleza del inglés. Que si usted cambia el tono, cambia la entonación, cambia el, 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 el hecho de cómo comunica el mensaje. So, 
at the beginning, you were very angry. So like, guess what? Someone stole my wallet last night. And she's like, eh, what happened? Tell me. And then the other person answers with the same tone, right? But if you say like, oh, guess what? I lost the wallet yesterday. I'm very sorry. You have to pay for the dinner. <laughs> so the intonation and the pronunciation are very important, right? You did a very good job. You are very good actors, people. Excellent. Excellent steps and reactions for all of you. Very nice job. Repeating the this. <laughs> very good. Let me see. I will say the heart for all of you. Reactions for all of you. Very nice job. Cool. It is very important that we use the correct intonation, right? That we use the correct forms of intonation for us to complete the sentence. Now let's create the sentences and then we are going to read the story. Based on what we have been doing, we are going to create the story on this one and we are going to read it later on, okay? Here, we're going to start with, let me see. Vamos a ver. El que esté mal sentado, vamos a agarrar. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. <laughs> and everybody's, not, not me. Lily, because she's falling asleep. A thief. A thief breaking <laughs> out, breaking into out. Or... Welcome back, bienvenida. A Thank thief, <laughs> a thief, our house last night. So this is a finished action. So in uh -huh. this one, what are we going to say? A thief broke into. Broke into, right? Very good, yes. very good. A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I was picking up my sister and I two people were where where were picking up a pizza for dinner okay while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner and for sure when they came back to the house the house was empty because the thief took advantage that they were outside number two I with some friends yesterday, and I, my keys. My keys. I shop. shop I shopped. Shop. Uh, shop. I shop. Okay. I, I was. I we. I we shopping. I no? we shopping. Hmm. I was. So you say I was. I was. I was, uh, I was shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping. Let me make this one smaller. I was shopping. I think I can make the letter smaller. I don't remember where, but I think I can do it. Okay. Let me see. Ah, it's here. This is bigger. There you go. I was shopping with some friends yesterday, and I. Love I, my I lost. Love. Okay, and I lost my keys, right? You cannot say I was losing my keys. In this case, yeah. it's not possible. Imagínese que usted estuviera perdiendo las llaves. Oh, creo que estoy perdiendo las llaves. Ah, no, right? It's not possible. So you say, and I lost my keys. Castellano accent. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> vale, tío, que estoy perdiendo estas llaves. No, it's not possible, right? You cannot do it. Yeah. Es, ese año en la clase de drama, it was worth. No me digas. I can do it. <laughs> it says, I around with my friends all day on Sunday. And I... I drove. I drove, I drove around, right? I so you say, I drove around... Know with friends all day on Sunday. And I ran, ran out. out. And oh. I ran out of gas on the freeway. You can see when you are running out of gas. Yes. But in this case, you cannot say, oh, and I am running out of gas on the freeway. No. I ran out of gas. Right? Se me acabó la gasolina. Number four. I, to visit my parents. <laughs> right, I you can you can do it. I say to visit my parents last night when I stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. 
I was uh, trying. I was right. trying. I was trying, right? Because he didn't do it. He got stuck in the elevator, <laughs> right? I was trying to visit my parents last night when I I was getting I got, oh. I got stuck, right? Es la misma historia. Creo que me estoy quedando atrapado. It's not possible, right? I got stuck in the elevator. Have you ever gotten stuck in an elevator, people? In the Oscar is for... <laughs> Did you... <laughs> people, have you, ever gotten, have you ever gotten stuck in an elevator? Ya se ha quedado trabado. Yes. That's horrible. That's, that's really horrible. <laughs> and you are like, ah, even when it is one one floor, but you feel that you are going to die. So the next one. And here, and it says, luckily, I a friend a copy of them, and she and let me into my apartment. I gave. Okay. Remember that here you have the past perfect, right? Okay. Sorry. Wait. Okay. Uh -huh. So in these ones, remember that we are going to use a simple past or past perfect, right? In this one, we were using simple past or past continuous, right? And so in the answers, we are going to use simple past or past perfect. For the forms of past perfect, you say had and the verb in the past perfect form. So in this case, you cannot say I have gave because gave is the past tense. What is the past perfect form of give? So you say I have given. I have given a friend a copy of them and she what will we use here? Came over. She came over, right? She came over. She came over and let me into my apartment, oh my right? Por suerte, yo le había dado una copia a uno de mis amigos. Y ella vino y me dejó entrar a mi apartamento. What? Uh, later on, we're going to match them. It says, it reached the fifth floor when it, after I, Talk for an hour, someone, it again. It, this is past perfect. What is the first Rich. thing that you're going to use? It has reach. Rich. Mm -hmm. It had reach. Ya había llegado, ya había alcanzado. The fifth floor, when it. It stopped. It is stopped, right? It is stopped. After I been after I be. So you say after I was stuck for an hour, someone started. <laughs> It again. Someone started it again. I guess we, the door unlocked because that's how the thief into the house. I th I guess we uh, had have left. Have left. left. Very good. We had left the door unlocked because that's how the thief. What is the past tense? Got, got. got into. Got into. Wow, into is there. Got into the house. And the last one. Fortunately, I, my cell phone with me. So I, my brother for help. I was. I brought. Aha, yo había traído, right? I had brought. I had brought. I had brought. Brought. I had brought my cell phone with me, so I, the past tense, well, I called call. my brother for help, right? Help. So, we have here two different stories. What is the complement for the first one, people? 
What is the complement for this story? A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. What will be the second part? We're I picking guess. up a pizza uh -huh. for dinner. Uh -huh. But from these ones, from all these stories, what um, will be the complement? Uh -huh. And um, letter C. Letter C. Yes. I guess. I guess we had left the door unlocked because that's how the thief got into the house. Excellent job, Mr. Jose Arturo. What about the next story? I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. What would be the second part? I lost my Letter keys. D. Letter D. B or D? D, D, D. Mm. A or A. Letter A. Why? Because it uh, says that uh, okay. luckily I had given a friend a copy of them, right? Le había dado una copia a mis amigos, right? What about the next one? I drove around with friends all day on Sunday and I ran out of gas on the freeway. Letter D. Letter D, right? Very good. Fortunately, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother. And the last one. I was trying to visit my parents last night when I got stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. Letter B. Letter B, Letter B. right? It has reached the fifth floor when it stopped. After I was stuck for an hour, someone started it again. Okay, so. Tell me the two parts of the story. Jenny, give me story number one. And uh, Jose Arturo is going to give me the second part. Let, that is letter, letter C. C. Yes. So Jenny, number one, and Jose Arturo, letter C. Go ahead. I see. I'm sorry. Esa, esa ladrón se pronuncia thief, thief. or thief. 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 Yeah. Okay. A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were pick up a pizza we're picking, for dinner. Picking. We're picking up a pizza for dinner. Um I guess we have left the door unlocked because that how the thief got into the house. Very good job. Now Let's see, uh, Gabriela and cha -cha -chan. Gabriela and Luis Roberto. Number two, Gabriela and Luis Roberto. It's going to be, okay, Gabriela number two and Luis Roberto, letter A. Go ahead. I was shopping with, my, with some friends yesterday and I lost my case. My keys. My keys. Uh -huh. Luckily, I have given a friend's copy of them, and she came over and led me to my apartment. Very good job. Now, I am going to ask, let me see. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Gabby. I am going to ask the next couple. Let me see. Miss Sandra Cecilia and... Ever de Jesus. Okay, Sandrita is going to be number three. And Ever is going to be number letter D. Go ahead. I drove around with friends all day on Sunday and I ran out of gas on the freeway. Ever? Mr. Ever. Hello. If not, eh, Carlitos, can you help me, Carlos Alfredo? Fortunately. Uh, letter D. C. D. D. Okay. Uh, fortunately, I had brought my cell phone with me. So I called my brother for help. Very good job. And now I am going to finish with. Josué and Gladys.
what part? Gladys, you can start and then Josue is going to finish. Gladys, number oh. four and Josue, letter B. I was trying to visit my parents. My last parents. Night. Rich. Rich. My parents like last night. When I got stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. I had reached the fifth floor when I stopped. Yeah. When it stopped. Uh, I was stuck uh, for an hour. Uh, someone it again. Someone started it again. Someone started it again, right? A little bit good. I was like, I had reached the fifth floor when it stopped. After I was stuck for an hour, someone started it again, right? Important, my dear students, important. Pronunciation is the key, right? You can tell me something as sad as possible or as amazing as possible, but with the incorrect pronunciation is not going to have an impact on anybody. Remember that uh, at this level of your life in English, you have to work a lot with pronunciation, right? Ya este nivel al que estamos, su pronunciación ya tiene que ir mucho más pulida. Because you cannot say like, a thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. It's not possible. You can, you have to convey the message, right? So uh, we have to use the pronunciation in our best way, right? A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. I guess we had left the door unlocked because that's how the thief got into the house. That's the complete story. Read the complete story for me. Number one, letter C. Everybody, go ahead. Todo, vamos, todo junto. A thief broke into our house last night. A thief broke into the, our house last night while we were up a pizza for dinner. I guess, I guess we had left the door open, unlocked, because that is the house. Go into the house. Go into the house. Imagine you say, teacher Nati. I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Luckily, I had given a friend a copy of them and she came over and let me into my apartment. Go ahead, cuéntenme, cuéntenme. I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. No, but everybody, not only Vanessa. Poor Vanessa, only Vanessa is telling me. No, everybody. I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. And I lost my keys. I have given a friend a copy of them and she came over to let me into my apartment. And let, and let me into my apartment. My apartment. <laughs> Teacher Nati, I drove around with friends all day on Sunday and I ran out of gas on the freeway. Fortunately, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Go ahead. I drove with my family for the day of 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 the day the day of the day of the day of the 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 I was trying to visit my parents last night when I got stuck in the elevator in their apartment building. I had reached the fifth floor when it stopped. After I was stuck for an hour, someone started it again. Back there, teacher. Go ahead. I was trying to
Someone started it again. It is a matter of practice. Practice, practice, practice. Every time that you have a paragraph like this, read it aloud. Siempre que tengan la oportunidad de, de tener un párrafo así, léanlo en voz alta. Escúchense cómo leen. Escúchense cómo lo dicen. So, you can actually have an idea on how, eh, what is the message that you are sending. ¿Qué mensaje están pasando con la forma que ustedes están leyendo? So, it, it, it can be something very nice, but if your pronunciation is not good, it will be a bad message, right? Parenthesis. Jenny, what a beautiful cut. <laughs> yeah. So you see, it got, it got my attention, the cut. Okay, there you go. Then you have Mechita. Mechita, the cut. Good, I have a message. I'm working in this moment. Ah, okay, sorry, Ever, sorry. And I was like, Ever, Ever, Ever. <laughs> Poor Ever is working. <laughs> sorry, Ever. Okay. So let me move on on this one so we can keep on practicing. We have here, we have here a little paragraph after this one, and we have different events, right? In life, we have different situations. What is the meaning of coincidence, people? You have a lot of definitions there. You have two, four, six, eight definitions. What is a dilemma? What is a disaster? What is an emergency? What is a lucky break? What is a misfortune? What is a mystery? And what is a triumph? Right? A triumph. Triumph. That's a difficult word to pronounce. But uh, what is the definition of them? What is the meaning of coincidence? I am going to read all the definitions and you decide on which one is correct. An unexpected event that brings good fortune, a situation that involves a difficult choice, something puzzling or unexplained, an event that causes suffering or destruction, a great success or achievement, unexpected events that seem to be connected, a sudden dangerous event that requires quick action, an unlucky event or bad luck. What will be the meaning of coincidence? Unexpected event that seems to be connected. Unexpected event that seems to be connected, right? That is a coincidence. It's letter F. It's an unexpected event that seems to be connected. That you say like, hmm. What a curious thing, right? It's like, hmm, gracioso. Pero no gracioso de risa. <laughs> dilemma. What is a dilemma? Let it be. A dilemma, it's a situation that involves a difficult choice. This is a dilemma, right? That you don't know what to do. That you say, like, oh, I don't know, right? Okay. The next one, what is a disaster? Letter D. Letter D. An event that causes suffering or destruction. That is a disaster, right? Letter D. Hey, by the way, did you feel the earthquake in the morning? Yeah. It was fun. It was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was terrible. What is an emergency? Between classes is G. not G. <laughs> Letter G. G. A sudden dangerous event that requires quick action, right? This is an emergency. Letter G. What is a lucky break? Letter A. a. Letter A. A lucky break is an event that brings a good fortune, right? This is letter A. No se rían de mis letras con el mouse porque I am very bad. What is misfortune? Misfortune. Letter H. Letter H. An unlucky event or bad luck. That is misfortune, right? Letter H. What about the next one? Let me see. Letter C. A mystery. 
and see see. something puzzling or unexplained. <laughs> right, this is letter C. And a uh, triam. I have the. Letter I have the. E, a great success of a great success of achievement. A great success or achievement. A great success or achievement. Triumph. 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 That's the pronunciation. Triumph. Yeah. Triumph. 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 <laughs> you see? My friend Google helping me all the time. Triumph. Tell me. A coincidence in life. Me meeting all of you. Yeah. That is a coincidence. Because we didn't know each other last month. Um, hace 16 días no nos conocían. Um, Thank you to Inglés Corporativo, right? Thank you to um, Inglés Corporativo. No, I think this is not a coincidence. This is a lucky um, break. Yeah. It's a lucky break because I didn't know you. And now I know you and you know me. That's a lucky um, break. <laughs> um, what? Teacher. Yep. Um, are you from Santana? I am from Santa Ana, but I live here okay. in San Salvador. Oh, oh, great. Yeah, I am, from, I am from Chalchuapa, exactly. I am from Santa Ana, Centro. Oh, really? Um, I, ha I have been living here in San Salvador. This is oh, a coincidence. <laughs> it's a coincidence. There you go. Good example of a coincidence. Yeah, I, I am originally from uh, Chalchuapa in Santa Ana, right? The best city of Santa Ana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you see, that's an example. An example of an emergency today. What is an example of an emergency this day? Um, the earthquake. The earthquake, right? That, that is an example of an emergency. What is an example of a disaster? Um, Give me an example of a disaster. Yeah, um, the children <laughs> did a disaster in the in the house. The children did a disaster in the house. Yes, <laughs> most of the time it happens, right? Uh, you know, in El Salvador, for example, uh, the situation in Las Colinas, for example, yes. that was a disaster. Uh, the volcano in San Miguel? Recently in uh -huh. Morazan, um, um, the last, the last, um, the last winter, uh -huh. the rain, the rain, um, the rain caused a big disaster, I remember. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, most, most of the time, rain in El Salvador causes big emergencies, big misfortunes, and big disasters. Fires. The fires, right? The fires are a big, big disasters. What is a mystery of life, people? What is a mystery of life? Let me think about it. Nobody knows. <laughs> Aliens. Aliens are a mystery. We don't know if they are true or false or whatever, right? That's a mystery. <laughs> Where does my money go? That's a mystery. <laughs> yes. where, where you does... know where it is. <laughs> it's all invested or in that. <laughs> Yeah, where did the Aguinaldo go? That's a mystery. <laughs> no, where, that where, is where is the Aguinaldo? Mystery. That's a mystery. <laughs> okay, and for sure, a uh, uh, triumph in life is to get back home safe. <laughs> that is a triumph of every day. Ese es un logro de cada día. To get to go to your house.
In this one, I have one example here of coincidence. Two people were traveling separately in China when they met at a restaurant in Shanghai. They both live in the same town their whole lives, but they had never met before. That was a coincidence. A coincidence. I can give you my own example. I went to a scholarship in Arkansas. And in Arkansas, I was working with a teacher. The teacher was from Chalchuapa. And she lived in the next block of my house. And I didn't know her. I met her in Arkansas. And I was like, hey, I am from Chalchuapa. No, it's like, we said like, hey, I am from El Salvador. And she said, me too. Nice, I said. I am from Santa Ana. She said, me too, I said. I am from Chalchuapa, I said. E, me too, she said. And I said, I live in Barrio Las Animas. That's the name. E, me too. And I was like, coincidence. That was a coincidence. And then when she told me, ¿Dónde vivías? Y yo, en esta y esta cuadra. Yo vivía en la siguiente cuadra. And I was like, I, ha I have never seen her before. 38 years later in my life, I met her in another country. So, coincidence, a lucky break. And now we are very good friends. So it's like, we never know. So that those are examples, right? Have you ever had an emergency, people? ¿Alguna vez han tenido una emergencia? Yes, yes. no, and what was it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, tell me about it. Give me a little background about what the emergency was. ¿Qué les pasó? ¿Cuál fue la emergencia? When, when I was a child, mm -hmm. um, um, uh, a little bad boy uh, broke my head <gasps> with a stone. <laughs> okay, it just... Just a little detail, right, Mama? Se me abrió la cabeza, mira. <laughs> Imagine your mother. Right? <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine the person from the school. Imagine your teacher. Imagines el maestro. A los señor, sí. Aquí está el niño con una emergencia chiquita. Ajá. Le veo el cerebro. <laughs> oh, so a boy. Open your head with a stone. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's an emergency, definitely. Another example of an emergency, people. Uh huh. I don't think that you haven't lived an emergency. Try to build it up. Aun cuando no la puedan armar, traten de armar la idea. Go ahead, Carlos. Okay. In my case, uh, one month ago, I was my baby sick mm -hmm. uh, suddenly uh, she was crying uh, during the night mm -hmm. and and after that uh, I get up with my partner and we we went to to hospital my baby had uh, enterocolitis. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, she was during three days in, in the hospital, into oh. the hospital. Oh my God. Uh -huh. And after that, uh, we received uh, some drugs for, for her. Some medicine. Um, and okay, uh huh. And and today she was very well. Okay, she's doing very well. Uh, you know, with children, I don't know why, but all the emergencies are at night. I mean, during the day they are like yay, but at night they get sick. I don't know why. It's like ah, ya oscureció, me voy a enfermar. So all the emergencies happen at night. 
It happens to me with my kid. During the day, he's perfect, but then at night, he gets sick. So I will call the attendance before I forget. And uh, then we're going to continue sharing. Think about a triumph in your life. Think about a triumph in your life. Un triunfo que hayan tenido. Think about it. I'm going to call the attendance while you build up your idea. Let me see. And chun, chun, chun. let me see, let me see. Here I go. Okay. Think about a triumph in your life. And we're going to share it in a moment. Okay. Let me go here. Ah, oh, people, after today, we are missing only three days together. That's not fair. Alejandra, Cristina. Here. Astrid, I'm Michelle. Afternoon. Yes. Af Astrid, Michelle, no. Eh, Blanca Estela. Blanca Estela. A la one, a two, three. Okay, let me just mark it here. And I will keep here. Let me see. My dear student. Okay, here I am. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Claudia Yanet. I'm here, teacher. Ever de Jesus. Thank you, Ever. I can see you now. Present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Claudia Jimelda. Present. Griselda. Present teacher. Jasmine. Here. Joaquin. Jose, Jose Arturo. Present. Jose Manuel. Jose Isaías. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian. I am here. Luis Fernando. I'm here. Luis Roberto. Present. Madeline. Manuel. Manuel Aristides. No. Mr. Manuel, a la una, a la dos, a las tres. <laughs> Olivia. Olivia Emanuel. Paula Maria. Present. Rosa Esmeralda. Sandra Present. Cecilia. Thank you. Walter René. Present teacher. Jenny Maritza. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Tell me about a triumph in your life. Volunteers. A triumph in your life. Huh? Still alive. Being alive is a triumph, <laughs> definitely. But tell me one triumph that you say like, hey, I did this and I feel very happy for that. Um, Becoming, I, part huh? I participate in um, Mujer y Negocios in 2018. Hey, okay. I participated in Mujer y Negocios 2018. That's a triumph. Very good. Mr. Arturo, you were going to say something? Uh, yeah. Um, 20, 22 years ago, I I was practice, practicing boxing. Uh -huh. um, and and uh, on December of this year I I will have a, a fight um, but my challenger uh, that is doesn't arrive the fight and, <laughs> so you won and I I win I won I won I won this this <laughs> this fighting without 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 him. fighting without fighting you yes. won the fight without fighting yeah yeah so you see that was like that was like yeah that's a triumph good yeah. definitely so uh who's a mother or a father here who yeah. has children ¿Quién tiene niños? Oh. Nice. 
I think all of us, right? No, most of us. So that's a triumph. We have survived. Yes. <laughs> we yes, have made every it every right? day. Yeah. No traían manual, but we are here. <laughs> so, ni traen botón de apagado. Sorry. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Sorry. No trae pila tampoco. Sorry. <laughs> and you are here. <laughs> my daughter. My daughter. <laughs> uh, she, she's charged with the sound. With the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> with the chlorophyll. Well, so with having you here learning English every day, it's a triumph. Yes. And I feel very proud of that. I feel very proud to be part of this triumph. Please keep practicing, keep practicing, and keep practicing. That is going to bring perfection. Tomorrow, we are going to have the story that it's on, on the book right at the end of this unit there is a reading so you can practice the reading and we're going to discuss that one in class tomorrow please keep sending your stories right and be as a historia for you to practice so send the audios don't be afraid it's okay but do it okay i'll be waiting for your stories have a beautiful night and i'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class have a good night, my dear mm -hmm. students. Thank good you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Everybody. See you tomorrow.